I want to start with this aid package. So two plus billion dollars in munitions. There's some radar equipment, new weapons to counter drones. Um, how will this bolster Ukraine ahead of the spring offensive we've heard so much about? Well, this adds a significant uh, package to the Ukrainian uh, defense effort. Uh, the, uh, we need to remember, though, that uh, only about 500 million of that is going to be relatively immediate. Uh, that's a drawdown from current U.S. stocks. Uh, so we could ship those pretty doggone quickly uh, in, into uh, Poland and then transfer into Ukraine. Um, but the remaining 2.1 billion uh, is contracted authority. And so that uh, it's unclear how quickly that will flow into Ukraine, but it uh, certainly uh, gives uh, promise uh, to Ukraine uh, for uh, further uh, defense uh, articles to come into them. Another report we're paying close attention to, uh, Russian officer in Putin's Secret Service defected to Turkey. Pretty significant, says Putin is becoming more paranoid. Uh, what does that tell us in any surprise? This is a really significant development, Marnie. You know, uh, this is kind of the equivalent if uh, if the uh, U.S. military officer in charge of communications between the Pentagon and, and President Biden uh, disappeared and went over to Russia. This is a this is really a big deal. It gives our intelligence agencies and and our military direct uh, insight into the uh, closest held Russian uh, classified communication systems. Uh, it, it's going to force the Russians also to expend a lot of time and resources in reconfiguring their protocols and their communications equipment. Uh, frankly, this defection has got to shake uh, the Russian intelligence community, the military and Russian governing elite really uh, to its core. This man had the highest level of, of security clearance uh, and of vetting. Uh, and Russia is not a trusting so this really has to uh, erode levels of trust all the way into Putin's most uh, innermost circle. Uh, and with the fact that he's labeling Putin a war criminal, it shows that there's an increasing level of concern among the intelligence apparatus and among the military of uh, their potential, their own potential liability uh, for being uh, considered war criminals. And you have to oh, believe no, he, he, he is willing to put his own life on the line by saying that, right? Somebody in that position who had gained Putin's trust and now has, has clearly lost it. I want to talk about Finland joining NATO. Uh, a very big news um, that got lost in the mix a little bit yesterday. It's a good thing, undoubtedly. But is there some sensitivity because of the large land border with Russia? Well, you know, this is both uh, a uh, an addition of significant defense capability to NATO, uh, while at the same time it does pose a significant defense problem, both for NATO and, and for Russia. Uh, it more than doubles the current uh, land borders that uh, NATO has with Russia. Uh, so it adds a, a great deal of territory that we, that we have an obligation, a treaty obligation to defend. Um, Russia, uh, on the other hand, uh, was much better off having a neutral Finland than having a NATO member Finland. Uh, before, Russia really didn't have to worry about an attack from Finland, uh, but now they're going to believe, uh, e even though NATO is a defensive alliance, they're going to believe that they have to be prepared to defend against an attack, a NATO attack, uh, via Finland. So uh, that adds a significant burden to them. And frankly, Putin doesn't have any military units that he can move up there. He doesn't have any military units until this war in Ukraine ends. Uh, so it's a, it's a significant problem uh, for Russia, but it also adds a burden uh, to to uh, NATO. But the uh, the Finnish uh, military uh, establishment is very capable. It's a small active duty, uh, but a very significant uh, and pretty well trained reserve force. Uh, which amounts really to about 5% of their population compared to about 1.3% for the U.S. and kind of a similar number for Russia. Major General William Enderd, as always, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.